Okay, uh, this is the prologue from Company of Rebels, which is set in Fobbing, 1381. Just the first page, it's a prologue. It had been the dream that awoke John Mill, sweat standing cold on his forehead. A dream of thundering hooves on dry midsummer turf, of brilliant morning sunlight glinting off silver hem helms, and the metal headguards of the war horses, giving them the look of demons of four hundred lances lowered as one at the weighty peasants who gripped their own sharpened staves, ancient bows and rusty pikes more in terror than any hope of fending off the charge. The barricade of chained farm carts being swept aside like chaff in the wind as the destriers seemed to fly on wings over the heads of the rebels. The knights leaning low, iron gauntlets wielding double-edged swords as deft as if scything through wheat peasant blood splattering the gleaming armour of well-trained men. John Mel felt the lance bite into the small of his back, saw the war horse above him, its eyes bloodshot behind the sockets of its headguard, glimpsed the eyes of its rider, glowing hatred behind the visor, saw death descending through his own...